hi my name is arun welcome back to my channel today i'm going to explain how we can able to set up workspace installation for stibo step in our local machine stibo step can be installed in a remote desktop or windows system it can be installed in mac os as well look for a windows system now open the pc and select any drive from the pc this environment variable uh, these files will be provided by stipo uh, these files will be sent for sent for us for all the project which is registered uh, so the stibo step team will create a different in environments based on the urls so every url is different from the one environment to another environment and stibo step we have a separate portal uh, which uh, jira jira portal which stibo wins the if any details about like environment and if any issue stibo product related issues can be raised stibo uh, stibo jira so stibo team will investigate and let us know the outcome of the ticket and give the proper solution how we can do that so in the same way they will send a different environment variables which we can uh, need to work on it based, uh, every url is different for each environment yeah this is a folder like where uh, copied here is a separate folder a step uh, step env docs so different uh, different file uh, each file will be different for each environment if you open any of the, any of the environment it shows like um, URL username and password uh, basic username and password so with that we should be able to log in enter the username and password these basically these passwords will be provided by your lead or manager this uh, to create these users first uh, that the part of the team can has a super user can log into the stibo environment and created many different users so the who intended to the project who have selected this project can team lead can create user credentials separately so because uh, is uh, each user will uh, we need to see like every user has login credential and everyone is uniquely identifying if anything responsible to the work so the the person is responsible so that and we can clearly check that then check the visibility availability and with that uh, uh, separate user so it's really helpful for if you make a separate user rather than using the common user for all of them once you successfully log into the stable you can see the link called step workbench launcher so when i when you click this workbench launcher window 64 it gives it downloads a file into your local system so from there you need to install double click that file and install uh, and select the folder like how you going to install generally so it might be taking this program files so you need to install uh, you need to check the folders which are you comfortable uh, it's so all the relevant stuff it will be a uh, little stable relevant uh, installation folders files will be stored into that in your local folder 
after installation into your local system when you click on this launch workbench so it will ask you the prompt the username and password once you log into that you can see this log uh, launch step workbench so you need to click on this link so so it will actually take into the works uh, step workspace here you go so this is the way it will show like once you click on launch it shows the workbench open as it is like that basically this user access that team manager or team lead will have to create the usernames here itself as a super user super user you should be able to have full access so that will have to check this user visibility and what user is so which anything changes based on the user which user has changes so it has to maintain it is separate user for uh, separate user for all of the project here uh, this the process the copying and copy uh, the workbench launcher is everyday activity so you need to take the file copy, download the file and copy into the working a work area of this uh, stevo where you installed it so this is the everyday activity you needed otherwise you not be able to use this step stevo tool hope you like this video and if you have any questions and clarification please ping me i'm happy to help you Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your watching this video. Thank you.